1969 on RS with the 9561 Copo configuration, and that, of course, is right there in the engine room. Yep, and that allows for the installation of a 427, putting out 425 horsepower, which was not a what's considered to be an RPO, regular production option, Copo. Central Office Production Order is what that stands for. And it was a special program that Chevrolet had in-house to be able to accommodate special requests for non-standard levels of equipment. Typically, typically was intended for the use maybe to mix and match equipment, maybe for commercial vehicles, uh, fleet vehicles that might need a special configuration, but they figured out it could also be a way to get some extra performance, and boy, it really was a successful program. Chevy kind of kept it under the radar, only really select dealers were aware that you could kind of play that that card, and uh, this was the basis of the genesis of the Yanko yeah. Camaro from 69. That series they started Don, with a Copo You're car. right, and Don Yanko kind of put a bug in Chevy's ear for them to do this, to make this combination of build. We're getting close on a deal, I think, guys. Frank, I need to put 190 in my I'll do 175. Hopefully we'll get there. Hopefully we'll get there. The only way to get there is lift to reserve. They're waiting for it to come on. Hey. All right, reserve is off. And I want to talk about the color, too. Hugger orange. Great color. It's a four-speed. Condition speaks for itself. Yep. Hugger orange to a Chevy is Hemi orange to a Mopar. Right. Yeah. The RS package is also a big value added. It's a little bit north of what we normally would see for a well-presented Copo. Usually, the $150,000 range is kind of a target baseline. Well over that now. Yeah, and a little wiggle room, four-speed versus automatic. Oh, that'll, yeah. That'll play in there. Yeah, the RS adds high quality. Bill, $190,000. It is sold.